Now, this is fragile, and it's made out of glass, and um, I was very concerned about how well it was going to be packed. So, so far by the artwork, that's telling me that this seller, oh, I hate doing this. I just, oh, it's like a sacrilege, because this is art. I'm like slicing through art. But, um, you know, by the seller going through the extra mile to actually draw me a picture, um, is telling me that this seller has a lot of time on his hands, possibly um, even spending more time uh, to wrap my item with perfection. And, uh, well, I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> so far, I see bubble wrap. That's a great sign. Okay. And, yes, okay. So far, so good. And, uh, wow, <laughs> we got some air bubbles. Definitely. Yep, okay. Okay, air bubbles are made to be popped. <laughs> you ready? Okay, hold your ears. Oh, that's not so bad. And that's not so bad. And, okay, now we're deflated. Definitely, definitely, we're getting into this package now. And I got to be very careful. I'm a little bit of a what, what they call a mongo. You know what I mean? Like a big overgrown ape who grabs things um, too quickly and ends up breaking things because I'm too excited. All right, there's another pillow in there with air. All right. Give it an old cut and get in there without damaging the product. Aha, okay. So far, so good. I don't see any broken glass. Oh, nice. This is pretty, pretty cool. And what I like about it is the design. So look at this old bottle, okay? This is from about the early 1900s. I'm talking about like 1905, 1907. We'll do research on it in a moment. We'll find out precisely how old. But this, yeah, this is very, very old. And we have cut glass. And it could possibly be American, British, or French glass. But the atomizer, um, the pump over here that would spray the perfume out of this little nozzle that you see right there is an American invention by the Walter Sams Company of Chicago. Don't know if you can see that name, but there you go. Walter Sams, Chicago, patented. And uh, it says oil here. And I guess that's to keep this thing lubricated and working. And so let's see if it works, okay? Well, I mean, there's no perfume in it, but yeah, there's no issues. Oh my God, over a hundred years later, this thing is still working to perfection. And uh, look at that design. That is just really amazing and cool. Um, let's check out the glass. Yeah, this is definitely blown glass. I could see a pontal. This was uh, broken off of a cane and hand blown. It wasn't smoothed out. Some pontals are smoothed out. And my guess is this is pro possibly French glass. Um, look at that beautiful design. I don't know what they call that. I think they call that a hob star, but I could be wrong. I'm not an expert. If you know, write it in the comments below. But that really is something else. So let's find out more about the Walter Sam's company. And let's also find out about this patent and uh, about the design and when this was actually made. Okay, so I'm on my, one of my favorite, favorite blog websites called perfumeatomizers.blogspot.com. And we find out about Walter Sam's here. Walter Sam's Chicago, Illinois, was an American metal company that designed some unique perfume atomizer hardware in the early 1900s. Walter Sam's was part of Sam's and Waddell, a jewelry firm established in 1884 and was headed by William E. Sam's and Frank B. Waddell of Clinton, Missouri. Walter Sam's broke away from the firm and formed his own company in Chicago. Interesting. And there was an um, ad in a newspaper or an article from 1907. It says, Old Firm Dissolves. The old established jewelry firm of Sam's and Waddell has been dissolved by William E. Sam's retiring. Okay, and that's where Walter Sam's actually, I believe, took over. The company absorbed by a larger medical, uh, medical, don't mind me, metal fabricating company, the Christopher Manufacturer Company, who produ uh, produced the hardware for Sam's. Okay, here's uh, one of his original ones, and I have one of these bottles in my collection. Um, the piston pump atomizer was on top and not sideways like the one on my bottle. Um, this was an innovative design. Actually, a lot of French companies actually produced piston pump atomizers. 
that had these little buttons that would pop up and when you were not using the perfume um, you would push this down and turn this counterclockwise or clockwise and the little button would stay in the down position when you wanted to actually spring this pump up you would press down on it and turn it like clockwise and this little button would pop up and there we go there's the oil here thing that we saw um apparently the one the bottle that i have was actually created in 1905 and here is a patent for that bottle um i'm going to go further into that but before we do so let's look at some ad in 1907 Walter Sams and the Sams and Christopher Manufacturer Company is in New York pushing his new pump atomizer. He will spend a month to six weeks in the eastern states. The atomizer of merit. You can make money handling perfume atomizers if you buy the right kind. We make the only successful and quick selling mechanical atomizer of the market. No valves to get out of order. Nothing to give trouble. Clean, neat, and attractive. Over a hundred patterns to select from. The day of the cheap short-lived rubber bulb atomizer is passed our atomizer is guaranteed to last a lifetime and you saw that right here um over a hundred years and that thing is still in tip-top shape write us at once for um for descriptive circulars of special assortments sam's and christopher manufacturer company 72 south canal street chicago illinois and what did i do i looked up that address and unfortunately the building must have been knocked down and a new building put in its place, which is quite sad. Here's um, a magazine called Notions and Fancy Goods, uh, volume 41 of 1907, showing you his piston pump atomizer. A new principle in perfume and medical or medicinal atomizers is shown in the illustration below. The atomizer is the invention of Walter Sams and possesses features that make it desirable um, to any toilet Toilet goods online. Being valveless, it cannot become clogged up. Neither are there any parts to wear out quickly. These atomizers are shown with imported and domestic bottles. Okay, so the glass could have came from Europe or from America. And is uh, made in nickel, uh, nickel silver with gold-plated tops. The cheapest numbers can be profitably retailed at $1, while the top notcher, brings twelve dollars and fifty cents you know what twelve dollars and fifty cents was back in 1907 oh my god if you only knew um yeah hundreds of dollars i'm guessing wow um in 1895 i think one dollar was equivalent to 35 dollars so you can only imagine how expensive that was okay so here is the patent of what we just saw and here's the sideways um the sideways atomizer with the button and here's his patent. And what did what is it dated? Um, 1905. So that was made in 1905. Now, in his description, the nozzle is much longer, but that's um actually exaggerated in his patent picture. Um, so the we have the sideways atomizer with the push button, but the nozzle would have been much smaller, like on my bottle coming out of the side, just like that. But he exaggerated it with figures and notes. Um, just, you know, for illustrative purposes, which is quite cool. Here's some other ones you might find uh, by the Walter Sams Company, different designs. And this one has an Oreen by Steuben. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the Steuben or Steuben, I'm going to probably get laughed at in the comments below, Glass Company. And they had a, a really famous uh, pattern called Oreen, which was like an iridescent glass. And oh boy. Now, if I had the bottle with the Steuben glass, um, yeah, I'd be in the money. Um, $550. Really, really amazing. Here's some other Walter Sams bottles that you might find um, in your thrifting hunts or flea market uh, hunts. Um, here's another crystal one. Here's another one with crystal glass. Here is another one right here. Um, they sell pretty quick. As soon as they get listed, they're usually gone. Here's another. Here's that Oreen um, design. Don't know if I'm pronouncing Oreen correctly. It's probably Orwan or something fancy and French, <laughs> French sounding. Here are the patents that you see. And uh, yeah, so keep on the hunt for anything Walter Sams. Now, right away, you might look at it and think, oh, 1950s. It was such a futuristic design that um, for that time, that was absolutely amazing. As you can see here, I collect a lot of 
um, antique and um, Art Deco era perfume bottles. Yes. Let me show you the other Walter Sam's one. You can see I have a lot of odds and ends antique. Um, all sorts of doodads. Another glass uh, piston pump atomizer bottle in ruby. And here's some more um, glass bottles over here. These are Victorian. Really cool. And my Walter Sam's bottle. Here's um, some of my piston pump atomizers that I collect would be this one right here. Um, so there you go. Look how cool that is. That was uh, his original design. And uh, you can see the uh, really beautiful, beautiful glass and uh, how well made it was. And there you go. I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoyed another one of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys all soon. So long.